Megan finally launched her The Tig spin-off, and believe me, it's uh, worse than we thought. We got the exclusive reaction of Harry to this magnum opus, and some great pictures of William at the Diana Legacy Awards. This and more on today's show. Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And yes, it so happens that Megan decided to come back to one of the most narcissistic, controversial, and decadent social media sites. And no, it's not LinkedIn. I'm talking about Instagram. American Riviera Orchard. I still have no idea what is this all about, but what we do know is that uh, comments are closed. And uh, this is not surprising. And you can guess that they will remain closed forever. I wouldn't like to see the direct message requests because those must be hard. But from my graphic design background, my first impression is, wow, Megan really, and I mean really, loves beige and with a passion. I think that if she could wrap her entire house in beige, she would go for it. This is the best depiction of Megan's dream home. But coming back to the logo itself... They went for sophistication, stylish refinement, exquisite taste, and instead, it looks like an escorts agency. I can only imagine the brainstorming for this. Yeah, looks exactly like that, but not any escorts agency, but a high-class one. That's what the calligraphy is for. And for the monograms itself, for me, it looks like a synthesis of the silence of the lamb's moth. But perhaps it's my mind that works in mysterious ways. Even so, it's not a far fetch that Megan would have inserted some secret messages here and there. And according to British Magnolia, it also looks like a female reproductive system. And uh, uh, that would make sense, since as of late, Megan has been all for motherhood and all that is related. I'm sure that she's already an expert on how the female reproductive system is used. So, it fits. And Jenny, is the logo a bee, a flower, and a crown? The Egyptians used the bee as a sign of regal power. In earthly, it represents work, wealth, creativity, and eloquence. Everything that Megan has wanted to be known for and... For some reason, she has failed every time. Would this attempt be different? Now, there's also a video, and I don't know about you, but this gives me Japanese horror movie vibes. It's also beige, but with a The Ring vibe to it. Like, if you watch this video, seven days later, Megan will pop out of your TV screen. So you have been warned. No, seriously, why such a creepy aesthetic? And why the kids are nowhere to be found? Uh, when you click on the provided link, you are sent to the website AmericanRiviera.com, which uh, it only thing that does it to prompt you for uh, your email and join a wait list. And a wait list for what, you might ask. Well, that's the thing. Nobody really knows. We suppose this is going to be some kind of a goop uh, ripoff, but until that happens, uh, you'd better refrain from giving them any information whatsoever. And in this case, your email. Whatever she's going to post, she will do it publicly with comments closed, of course. Meanwhile, Megan Small spotted that this is not a completely original idea, since there is an American Riviera Bank, so all she did was to change the last word. Well, groundbreaking, Megan. And this is how we can only guess that the articles are not planning on leaving Montecito anytime soon because the brand is very explicit, not only on being about the American Riviera, which is how people from Santa Barbara and only people from Santa Barbara call Santa Barbara, how pretentious. And thanks to Jolie Blonde, uh, who uh, found this comparison between that strange figure that everyone saw during King Charles' coronation and Meghan's silhouette in her The Ring video. To be fair, Meghan looks way more grim. And we need to thank the Duchess of Sausages because 
This is a laugh we needed a long time ago, and she's always the best source of memes. And Trace Williams has come up with yet another way we can call Megan. Magnolia. Maybe that could be her artistic name when she opens the gates of American Riviera Orchard. Well, as for me, I'm going to call it a, an arrogant chimera. It goes much better with her. And you know that I'm the Marquis the Troll, so I went and I tagged on Instagram Reel on uh, Megan's own account with one of Lady C's most brutal rants about Megan. And it was like spray painting a wall, but it's still there, I think. Just go and check out. And... My Montecito sources have already confirmed that Harry was more than delighted about how this new project of his wife is panning out. Maybe he helped design the logo. And I wouldn't be surprised that they also helped the current attacks on William and Catherine resurfacing. The claims of William's affair with Rose Hanbury, which we all already know was for a fabrication from a drunken Giles Corrin, and he already confessed to have made everything up. But, and how do I know that it was them? Because yesterday, uh, Stephen Colbert made a joke on his show about this, about the affair, and it just exploded overnight again. And you know how close is Colbert to the Harkles, going as far as to drinking tequila with Harry during that interview? That's all they can do. But another chap who should do the right thing and retract everything that he helped propagate is Dan Wooten. He has already been cleared of all accusations, but he was not going back to GB News but going solo. So, Dan, I want to know, now that you have found freedom yourself, when are you going to backtrack and correct what you did about said affair when you steer the pot in your own column, program, and social media for clicks. And it was not only Dan Wooten, but also Richard Eden, who made sure to jump on those false claims, all in the name of misinformation, clicks, and profits. Again, I don't know, at some point I was respectful of Richard's work, but no more. The good news is that William has been more than oblivious to say the tax making public appearances, such as visiting a youth center today. And of course, we still miss Catherine sharing with him these moments, but we are more than happy to wait patiently. He also made sure to mention that, quote, my wife is the arty one while decorating some cookies. And we also have the freshest photos of William presenting the Diana Legacy Awards to this year's winners, and he looks solid. He looked, uh, he looked pretty good and in no way worried, so we can only guess that things are running smooth back home. And this was part of his speech. I'm delighted to be here today to recognize the transformational achievements of 20 exceptional young people from across the world. Each and every one of their stories, which you will hear shortly, are testament to their character, passion, and determination to make a lasting and meaningful difference to the lives of others. The paths taken by these young people have not always been easy. Many have overcome adversity and prejudice, but they are driven by courage, compassion, and commitment, qualities shared by my mother. And he finishes with... That legacy is something that both Catherine and I sought to focus on through our work, as have the 50,000 young people who have received a Diana Award over the past 25 years. But Rogis, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And remember, much love and bliss.